Welcome to another how-to video from Bugspray.com. This video will feature close-up footage of filth flies as they land and forage on a dead squirrel. This is a very graphic video, definitely not for the faint of heart, but it does a good job of explaining what happens in nature. Filth flies, mostly house flies, blow flies, flesh flies, these are flies that feed on dead animals, feces, garbage, anything organic that can be found. They'll, many of them will actually try to breed and feed on living organisms as well. Wounds and sores and things that are left unattended or that occur on individuals that are weakened will many times get maggots. People wonder how this could happen. Well, this is the process, what you're seeing here. The organic matter gives off odors which attract these filth flies, they will land on it, they'll feed, they'll also inject eggs. You'll see in some of these frames their abdomens are sticking, almost stinging like. In fact, in the right hand corner you can see one right now. It looks like it's stinging the squirrel, but what it's doing is injecting eggs. These eggs will hatch out maggots, the maggots will feed on the flesh, and within a couple of days, in some cases hours, the maggots will migrate away from the carcass. Now in the wild these maggots will many times be consumed by birds and other predators but if you have a dead animal in your home like a bird or a mouse or a rat say you set out some mouse poison or rat poison and the animal died someplace inaccessible house flies or any of these filth flies may find that animal lay eggs on it the maggots will feed and when they migrate away you will have an invasion of maggots hundreds if not thousands can be seen in the home during this migration and this is perfectly normal this is how mother nature recycles these dead carcasses so if you're seeing an invasion of maggots this is most likely what's happening if you have a pet that is having maggots occur on it flies are probably landing on that pet and injecting it with eggs we see this a lot with pets that are kept outside so it does happen in the home the migrations that we see involving maggots are generally stemming from a dead animal and if that animal is found and removed the problem can usually be resolved but there are certain treatments that can be done which are explained in our maggot control article and this will definitely help to curb the activity so if you're seeing maggots and are wondering what's going on, hopefully you've got a better understanding of the problem. And thanks for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.